It's Madden NFL 24, where we'll see teams who have been division rivals since 1961. It's the Cowboys and the Eagles on Sunday night. Open back in 2003, have a look at the link. Lincoln Financial Field, where 70,000 are rocking and ready to go in Philadelphia. Tonight, it's the Sunday night opener for the new NFL season, as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, there's nothing quite like it. That feeling of beginning another NFL season, and these two squads, they're going to do just that in a moment. And what makes it so exciting is the range of possibilities these teams have before them, because we could be seeing one of these teams earn the Lombardi Trophy in February, while the other, they could earn the number one draft pick in April, or anything in between. And we've got the best seed in the house every step of the way. It's the marquee game of opening weekend, and off we go on a Sunday night on EA Sports. Britton Covey going to bring it out of his end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. So from the 36 now, first and 10. First and 10 at the 36-yard line. Hurts. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. Throwing his hurts. Too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Devontae Smith, the intended receiver, and it's second down. Hands it off out of the gun. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. From the gun, he'll hand this off. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold him to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, a new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And yeah, he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Four yards on the pickup. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. 
And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the five to the three. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Hurt sets up to throw it. And Gillard's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Eagles are on the board here first in a season opener. A long opening drive, but a very successful opening drive. We, we call that methodical, I guess, when it takes that many plays. Methodical and almost like a boxing match where you hit them with body blows. They can withstand them here. Look, they gave up the touchdown, but you don't feel like a knockout is there. But they keep doing that in the fourth quarter. That's what the knockout is. Down for that defense if they're on the field that long. We'll see if they can continue that in future drives. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Now we'll see what the right arm of Dak Prescott has in store as the Dallas Cowboys offense sets up shop. And how about the toughness of Dak Prescott? We see it all the time on the field. And remember when he had that serious ankle injury, would he return to form? Boy, did he ever. And he was better than ever, and that's great for the NFL. Terrific resilience, playing at a high level, capable of winning a championship with his arm and his legs. Blitz coming, and down he goes. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. Okay, partner, a couple points of interest right here, all right? Offensively, we see that they came out throwing the football, but maybe more importantly, the blitz that came defensively, they get right after it. And you were telling me pregame before we came on air, you think this is something we could see a lot. Under pressure, they got him again. Going for the sack by big Jalen Carter. Well, it's apparent that these guys are getting after it right from the opening kickoff. They roll right downfield and score on their first possession. And here on defense, back-to-back -back sacks. Someone is ready to play. Prescott. Oh, his first throw of the season is intercepted. Picked up by Avante Maddox, and he will bring it back to the four-yard line. But such a costly interception, nearly a pick six, but now they're so close, they are knocking on the door for a touchdown. And I never want to get on any team for being aggressive because that's part of what their makeup is, and oftentimes it's successful. But in this case, you've got to be selective about it and make sure you take care of the football. That interception almost cost them six points. Now their defense has to run onto the field, probably giving the quarterback a few side eyes along the way. They've got to see if they can stop a score. Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. It'll be Hurts on the option. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one. And it almost felt like on that first run, they're trying to just throw the jab at them. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop. Ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick. Throw. Touchdown, Eagles! Devontae Smith from four yards out. And the Eagles have taken a 13 to nothing first quarter lead. So a good start to the campaign so far for them here in week one. Yeah, all the things that you dreamed about in April and May and that you worked on in July and August, getting ready for this game, it's all coming together so far. Elliott good on the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to 7. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And Charles, it's kind of gut check time. Look, I know it's early first quarter, just their second drive of the game, but they've already thrown the interception. 
given up the score. You're down double digits. They got to figure out something and pretty quickly here. No doubt about it. And when we look at that sideline, I'm sure you're observing the same thing I am. I don't like the body language at all. They look like they're in a state of stunned disbelief. So to me, we always talk about someone stepping up and making a big play. I think it would behoove them if multiple guys step up and make big plays right now. They need something positive to happen. They need for it to happen now. That second down play, that's a minus four. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Here's Prescott. Going to take a shot for Gallup. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. Gallup, 83 yards, and the Cowboys have cut it back within a score. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over. This game could be 88 and out the gate early. What, 88 and out the gate? Yeah. What, what's that? But listen, I used to hear my old man talk about it. It usually meant that thing's done. Oh, well, now that they got the touchdown, it's, it's not 88 and out the gate. We still got a good game going ahead of us. Eagles offense back out getting set for this next drive. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early, or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? I actually like the early matchup for a few reasons, Brandon. First of all, he's got a man complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. But he reminded us that he was a 1,000-yard receiver a year ago as he starts off week one picking up right where he left off. He told us at the end of the preseason he was primed for a big year. He just gave us excellent evidence of his belief. But first down, Hurts looking for A.J. Brown again, and he's got it again. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. This is intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 13. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive to Allen on the dump off. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And that'll bring up second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred the defense. And the Cowboys going to bring on Brian Anger to punt on fourth down. Britton Cubby deep for Philadelphia. Well, on that punt, we've got a man shaken up. Well, the medical staff checks on him. We'll step aside in this week one contest. The Eagles in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. This short throw caught by Goddard. So the completion good for six yards. And it's second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. That one, a first down pickup of eight. 
And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point. You just And he will go down. A Cowboy sack. Oso Digizua with the effort there to earn the sack. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Hurts throw complete there to Smith. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run well. The Eagles on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and nine. Here's Hurts to throw. Complete. He is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun, then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. They pick up the first down there with a gain of four. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. But they went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. He'll be hit. Taken down at the 21. Leighton Vander Esch wreaking havoc with a sack. Well, that's the second time he's been sacked so far in the first half. And if they have designs on having a big year, on going anywhere, they've got to find a way to keep him upright so he can throw the football. And this is caught. It's Brown. They're all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. That puts him in excellent position, first and goal after a gain of 19. They'll try to run it in, going option right. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shake it up. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Hands it off out of the gun. And he will take this one in for the Eagle touchdown. A great effort there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Eagles have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, it finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it, and he gets it done. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Prescott now. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Okay, so roughing the passer, and I've got to imagine that's the last thing you want to see week one is your quarterback taking an unnecessary hit. I think you're exactly right about that. You hate it any week, but boy, are you on target. This is and nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. A big play here for Dan. 42 yards. Uh, so 
so often when we're watching a football game, we see one with a lot of ebbs and flows, and this one is no different. And sometimes you just need a big play to wake you up a bit. And they get one right there. That shot of caffeine this offense was looking for. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Well, this defense is going to have to finish the job. There's still a second half that they have to play. But so far, an absolute total effort. They've disrupted the passing game, stressed the pocket for the quarterback. They forced him into Aaron throws. Everything they're doing has been executed well. And a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. This is a half with not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. To the air again, Prescott. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. Just inside the 20 and the 19. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. And his kick is good. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So the three points there in CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. Taking it about the one. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. And it may just be the second quarter, but he's in his own well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books, but it's really a collective deal, isn't it? And now the rookie's free. A big play there just before halftime. 45 yards. And they made no bones about it. They wanted to throw this rookie right into the fire, see what he could do. He shows what he can do there. And you have to really put the time and effort in because playing a receiver in the NFL is a difficult task. And for a rookie, all that you have to learn to get on the same page with your quarterback that's excellent coaching, and how about how he's picked things up? Picking things up in a big way with a big play in his NFL debut. On first and ten, it's Hurts. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. They're going for a receiver there. Already has one touchdown to this first half. A second one not to be. I like where their headspace is, though. I mean, I really like the thought process, right? You got a guy who's already scored one, right? You want to go back to him, continue the hot hand, and make them adjust to you defensively. I like what they were trying to get done, even though they weren't successful. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime here in our initial Sunday night telecast of the new season. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the... All right, we will save the week one highlights and apparently get right back to the action here in the third. for quarter number three alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here, trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. Oh, Prescott stripped, and it's picked up by the Eagles. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and an Eagle touchdown. The offense. 
defense. They've had some sloppy moments. Sloppy there again on that one, and it could be the backbreaker. From a defensive perspective, if the offense is going to be sloppy, you've got to take advantage of that. That's what they've done all game long. Elliott on for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way. The fumble return for a touchdown. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Dallas offense set for this next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Prescott now, option right, and he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, Brandon Cooks. Down to the 10. Touchdown, Cowboys. Brandon Cooks with career touchdown number 60. And the Cowboys are able to cut into that deficit. Aubrey good with a PAT. And the lead will be cut down to 14. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Their lead down from 21 to 14, but still sitting in a great spot. Up two scores here in the third quarter. They try and run on first down, but to no avail. Tackle for a two-yard loss in the backfield. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game against them, but tally that one on the side of the defense. Do you think maybe, possibly, it could be a little bit of a changer for them? And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. This defense coming out after the half, and if that plays any indicator, Charles, maybe a little refreshed and refocused here for quarters three and four. Yeah, they did really well on that one. That's exactly what they need to keep doing if they want to change their fortunes in this game. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He finds his tight end, Goddard, that's complete. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. From the 32 now. Here's first and 10. They go play action with Hertz. And this one is incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Second and 10. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And able to use his blockers to get this up over the 40. 64 yards rushing for him now to this point. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. And he's going to have an Eagles first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. They'll look to throw. 
He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 45-yard line. 11 yards for number 11. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. Looking left side, and it's complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. A gain there of 21 yards. They'll get that one out quickly to Brown. Touchdown! A.J. Brown, a 22-yard touchdown, Brown. And the Eagles are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yeah. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Elliott Good with a PAT. And the lead now to three touchdowns in 21. the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? Second and six, just inside the 30. Now a carry for Allen. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Seven yards there and a first down. But they've certainly been successful throwing it around in this game. That's allowed them to move the ball on offense. But I've got to tell you, to watch them run the football and successfully, I'm not taking sides. But to see the ball in a running back's hands, oh, that's football for me. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They keep it on the ground. Allen again. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and ten. Now Prescott. And he finds his target. It's Schultz. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Prescott on first down. Over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. Touchdown, Cowboys! C.D. Lamb, 37 yards. And the Cowboys have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And the lead will be cut down to 14. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. 
And he returns this to the 22. Wide receiver A.J. Brown. You see he and the rest of his mates returning to the field here. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? But usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. Second and seven. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. They'll be dropped after a game of about six across the 30 to the 31. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. He needed a yard. That's exactly what he got. Earns him a new set of downs. Hurt's going to keep it running right. And a 42-yard line here and brought down there. Give him 10 yards on the keeper, and it'll lead to a second down. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there on that play. I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. Play action. Here's Hertz. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are right back in this football game. Now with that interception, you feel like we've got a ball game again. Remember, two-score contest and still time left here in the fourth. And in the old days, not too long gone either. Throwing the ball here would have been an absolute no-no. But the way they get down the numbers, there he goes. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A good pick up there, 21 yards. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Prescott. Throw right side, taken in by Gallup. He'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. And quickly they get to the line. Second down, Prescott. He gets it to Cooks. From the red zone now, Prescott. This is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Brandon Cooks. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Cowboys have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. And he's got it for the two-point conversion. So they tack on a pair more here to narrow that deficit a bit further. And the formula there on the two-point try, they go five wide, not even the option to hand the ball off. They got it. They tried to create space, and there isn't a whole lot of it there. For the defense, what you're trying to do is make sure that someone, if they're going to catch the ball, make them catch it behind you because they run out of space with the back line. But in this case, the offense figured it out. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. I'm curious to see, Charles, about the play calling on this drive. Last time out, the interception that led to a touchdown. Here we are. I mean, very close. One score game. Yeah, and if I'm a defender, I'm actually tripping to you on the other side of the ball. I said, hey, you picked up the last one. What you going to do about it now? So when you do throw the football, high percentage, but throw it with confidence. If there's any hesitancy at all, it could end up in enemy's hands again. Right back to him on first down. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Well, at this stage, that's exactly what you want offensively. Good run on first down, stay in bounds, keep that clock rolling. And look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now. That's what you got to focus in on because 
That's divided up by sections. And right now, he's looking at that four-minute offense section. What running plays do we have to bleed down the clock and take care of the football? Right now, they're executing really well. Hurt sets up to throw it. Flush to his right. That is caught. Fights through and now a crease. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And now here comes the third of their timeouts defensively. So they'll be left with only the two-minute warning to stop it from here on out. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts, 34 yards. And the Eagles are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. But that's certainly an important touchdown there and makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that could win the game for us. Hertz will throw. And he's going to be taken down. It's a sack. And they fail on the try for two. Well, they tried to get two and ended up getting none because the quarterback had nowhere to go with the ball and ends up getting sacked. Nowhere to go at all. Great job, though, defensively. They were ready. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. So Dak and the Cowboys down by 12. 2.22 on the clock. Deuces wild. And the two-minute warning, that's going to be their only chance to stop the clock, so they'll need to move quickly here on first down. To Allen on the dump off. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. First down, Prescott. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. And he is not quite going to make it all the way in. They'll mark him down right the one yard line. I love plays like that. A defensive lineman holding the football. It's like a, a kid who stole a cookie from the cookie jar and then he just fling the scene in the crowd. And all he's doing in his mind, reliving his days when he was young, probably put fullback on his high school team, always wanted to be the tailback carrying the ball, trying his best to lug that bad boy the distance. Pretty impressive pick there off the screen and then a nice return. You know, nowadays, they do more ball drills with the big guys than ever before because they want to take possessions away from the offense. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. That sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. No, no, no. 73, 73. Hurts. Now he's got it. Stops short. Down at the one. Had the broken tackle, but couldn't get it all the way home. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he will take this one in for the Eagle touchdown. A great play there. Making quite a splash with his second touchdown in his NFL debut. And the Eagles have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. So there you go, Charles. How about this for a debut? A second rushing touchdown in NFL game number one. How about it? It just points to me how confident that this young man is, but also how much confidence his coaching staff and teammates have in him. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field. And no doubt this is not the way that they had hoped to open their season. Thoroughly outplayed here in front of the national audience. This is caught. It's Cooks. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Crystal foul. Nothing was passing. Anything. 
Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so are they going to be diligent about throwing the flag. Now they got to get to the line quickly. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and five. And they get up on it quickly and spike it with just a little over 50 seconds to go. Third and three. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10, mark him down at the nine. They're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal. Prescott yet again. Toward the pylon, caught. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. A gain of seven that time, second goal. Throwing, Prescott. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, but after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's gonna have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Prescott on third and goal. And this pass broken up. The contact well timed there. And now fourth down. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone. And the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Desperation time, Prescott on four. That ball is caught. It's Gallup, touchdown Cowboys. A great effort there. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Cowboys' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Aubrey good with a PAT. And they're able to cut this deficit down to 12. So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And the Eagles are gonna recover. And that might be enough to put a bow on this one. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Well, partner, that'll do it. You know, these week one primetime games, they always seem to have a little bit more electricity, a little more anticipation, a fun one tonight, and a lot of fun ones that we have on the road ahead. And partner, I love the word you just used there, electricity. Things were crackling out there, weren't they? And let's face it, both of these teams came in with the idea, get off to the start. Get off to a 1-0 start and get your season going. That could spark an excellent season for them. They've got that in their pocket.